Every single one of you probably recognizes this situation. Whenever you look in the mirror or whenever you take a selfie, you are one of the most attractive godlike beings on the planet. But whenever one of your so-called friends makes a picture of you, it turns out to be the most hideous picture that you have ever seen. But why does this happen and why do we hate pictures of ourselves? That's what I'm going to explain in this video. Now if you are new to the channel, hi there, my name is Willem and as you can see I make videos about random psychology subjects. If you thought this video was helpful or if you liked it, please press the like button because it really helps my channel and it is very much appreciated. If you have feedback or an opinion, share it in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. That being said, welcome to Brains Applied. Why we don't like pictures of ourselves can be explained by two psychological phenomena. The first phenomenon that I'm going to talk about in this video explains why we don't like pictures of ourselves in general while the second explains why we prefer our own selfies above pictures taken by friends or family. And that first phenomenon that I'm going to talk about is the self-enhancement bias. In a 2008 study, researchers showed participants a picture of themselves along with manipulated images that were made more or less attractive. The participants were then asked to pick the real picture of their face and they pretty consistently chose a picture that was slightly more attractive than their real picture. This shows that people tend to see themselves as more attractive than they really are. And these findings were also confirmed when the participants had to look at each individual picture and state the chances that this was his or her own face. Or if you want to summarize the self-enhancement bias in a more straightforward way, you are even more f***ing ugly than you thought you were. Obviously, this is not the case for everyone. Whether the subjects chose an enhanced picture of themselves or not was partially correlated with their implicit self-esteem. Implicit self-esteem refers to a person's disposition to evaluate themselves in a spontaneous, automatic or unconscious manner. Or in other words, people with more self-confidence will automatically rate themselves as being prettier than they actually are, while people with less self-confidence will do the opposite. And because most people are on the confident side of the scale, we are often more attractive in our own head than we are in reality. And this explains why we dislike pictures of ourselves. However, it doesn't explain why we can make great selfies while our friends and other people always seem to make ugly pictures of us. And this issue can be explained by the mirror exposure effect. The mirror exposure effect states that we develop a preference for things as we become more familiar with them. And this also happens with your face. Now at this point you're probably thinking, dude I look in the mirror multiple times per day and I still dislike pictures of my own face, so this doesn't make sense. But you're wrong. Whenever you look into the mirror you see a mirrored version of yourself. And as you can see by the conveniently placed bird marks on my face, this is not what other people see or how you see yourself on images. The mirror exposure effect makes you familiar with a mirrored version of your face and not with the real version. And since there are only very little people who have perfectly symmetric faces, this does make quite a difference. And this also explains why you might prefer your own selfies. Because the camera records a mirrored version of your own face. Now if you want to feel better about your own pictures you can post selfies on social media. Remember however that other people are not used to your mirrored face. Due to the mirror exposure effect they prefer your face as they see it. Additionally, studies have shown that people who make and post more selfies are often seen as more narcissistic and 
less likable by others. If you want to train yourself to appreciate your own face more, you can take a regular picture of yourself and put it on the background of your phone. And over time, you'll appreciate your real face more and more and more. And that, my friends, is all I wanted to tell you today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, press the like button. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you receive a 100% free notification next time when I upload a new video. I'm gonna finish my pasta and I will see you guys later.